In this video, we will learn how to use this 0.96 inch 7 pin SBI bus interface with an SSD1306 driver chip for the graphics to display text, show shapes and perform animation. Now when you go about using these OLED screens, keep in mind they're made by several manufacturers so the driver chip can be different. As far as I know there's two types of driver chips. To get this particular um, OLED screen working uh, this one has an SSD1306 driver chip which means it needs to run on an SPI um, bus connection that requires seven pins. So here we have seven pins. There's another type of OLED screen that has four pins and it runs on an I2C bus that requires only two pins apart from power and ground. Um, now the advantage of this seven pin arrangement is that it's, bit, it's faster than the I2C. Uh, this is an SBI connection here, SBI bus. Uh, the I2C connection is slower. Um, however, the disadvantage of this particular connection setup is it needs seven pins to work. Um, so how do we wire up this OLED screen? Now as you can see here we've got these pins. So ground will go to ground, GND will go to GND on the Arduino. VCC is a power input from uh, Arduino. It can be 5 volt or 3.3 volt. DO, also known as clock, CLK, uh, goes to uh, pin 10 on Arduino Uno. D1, also known as Mozzie, uh, goes to pin 9 on Arduino Uno. Red stands for res reset, and it goes to pin 13 on Arduino Uno. DC goes to pin 11 on Arduino Uno, and CS goes to pin 12 on Arduino Uno. And there are the connections there. So all the way from 9 to 13, for the signaling and clock and for VCC and ground there we are now to get started you need to download the code it's all prepared for you um, but before you get the code running you need to make sure that you download the libraries here they are the two libraries there in white Adafruit GFX and Adafruit SSD1306 and that's 1306 is for the driver chip that drives the graphics engine of the OLED screen. Now um, there's a separate uh, lesson on <coughs> Google Classroom that has information on how to download libraries. If you're here at school you need to download a zip file. If you're at home you just download it straight using the tools up here and then go to the libraries, manage libraries and you get this screen here. So as you can see I've got this installed already. Adafruit SSD1306 and to find a library you just type in the search box. I uh, also you'll need the other library which is GFX and um, there it is, it's installed already. So and that's via the Tools Manage Libraries option. Okay, now let's explain the code. Now I've adapted this code of the Adafruit library example, and there's something that you should know. Whenever you um, want to install a library, you should realize that the libraries normally contain example codes. So example sketches, and if you get those sketches, those example sketches, um, once you have got the library installed, you go to File, and then go down to Examples, and I'll scroll down to um, Adafruit, and there it is, GFX and uh, SSD1306. So to get this, my particular code working, I actually modified uh, this one here. Uh, SSD 1306, 128 pixels by 64 pixels high and using the SPI bus or 7 pin interface. And that's what this code is. It's the modified version of that. So I've used their code. And thank you very much to Adafruit for that. 
So here we have some declarations about the size of the screen. So all our screens should be the same size. It should all be 128 pixels across by 64 pixels high. I've designated here which uh, pins uh, are on Arduino connect to different um, parts of the bus interface. So th there it is there. Uh, and um, I've defined my, uh, here is um, about uh, a bitmap image. So this information contains image on how to draw a star, um, which I got off Adafruit. And there's our voice setup part there. So just checking that, uh, that everything works. If it works, proceed. If it doesn't work, just maintain a continuous loop. Now, what I've done here, I've tried to trim the code and complexity down to bare bones. So each of these uh, function calls or methods here uh, go to a different part of the code further down which have these in instructions to do things like show text and show d dots and so on and that's what's down here so uh, as you can see it's rather simple code um, here I choose the size of text so one means uh, one for one if it's two you double the size of the text here there's only two colors on the monochrome screen either white or black in capitals uh, you want to clear the display f f first before you draw anything. Um, and here, I, this is very important. If you're doing text or whatever, uh, you need to specify the, the start point of your text. So text will go from left to right and top down. So this is in pixels, three pixels across and three pixels down from the top left-hand corner of the screen. And here's a text to, to display. And before you actually get that showing though, you need to call this method next and that tells to put whatever you've specified here on the screen if you don't call this part here you won't see it and then there's a delay uh, the same thing goes with dots so here's very simple x and y position x and y x and y and the color and make sure you call that at the end otherwise you won't see anything again so follow the comments here in each of these methods to understand how to use the parameters for these um, inbuilt library methods. And the same goes for the other methods too.